Welcome back to a new reading vlog. So today it is Wednesday. The first thing I'm going to do in this vlog, I will, by the way, I will tell you what I'm reading a little bit later, but I have to clean up all these books because I just filmed, as you can see, a book or book or book haul. I haven't done a book haul in so long, but I went to York, which is the young adult literature convention in London, which I actually filmed the vlog about. So if you haven't checked it out, you can check it out there. And I just got some other books in Vienna as well when I went there last weekend. So now I need to find some room for these books on my bookshelf, which is a challenge because my bookshelf is literally full. So I'm afraid and I'm going to have to stack some books again, which I'm not excited about, but let's see if it will work. It is very full. Okay, let's try to get these books in there. Okay, well, it kind of fit. It still looks a little bit messy, but at least all the books are in there. And of course, I also still have <laughs> these books that I'm like currently reading. I will tell you the book that I'm currently reading. I'm reading it on my Kindle. However, it is We Did Round by Carson Jensen. Right here, it looks like I'm not that far into it. However, let's check the Kindle. I am 62% of the way through, so it is going pretty well. So We Did Round. This one is a really cool seafarer's novel that takes place over like a different generations of men and it's constantly followed like um, the sun and then again kind of the sun and it's just about these big adventures that they're having across all the seas. They're all Danish people and it's super interesting reading about their cities and towns that they live in and you know the adventures that they have on sea so I'm slowly working my way through it. It's a very very big book and I've had it on my shelf for years so I'm glad that I finally started it and it is really interesting. Some chapters are a little bit slow, not necessarily boring but just a bit slow and then some chapters they really take place on sea you know and that's what I find very um, exciting. But I'm just going to clean up the rest of my living room a bit and then I'm going to be packing some orders and shipping them today as well and hopefully edit my book haul that I just filmed so if you haven't checked that one out you can check that out there. I think I got like over 10 books. Oops. Quickly filming a little update, turning all my fans off, then filming and then ones the clip is done, I turn all my fans back on again because they just make too much noise. Um, I just packed a few orders and I've been loving the vlogs by Isabel Page. Um, I'm always just like, every other couple of months, I'm just very much into someone's vlogs and I like binge all of them. And then a few months later, I will again binge the rest of them. And I'm back at Isabel Page's vlog. She's this girl who lives in the woods in a little tiny house together with her partner and they're just building a farm and it's the most cozy as thing ever her way of like filming and editing is very just oh, it feels so magical and she uses these really simple sounds and it's beautiful so i'm just binging her vlogs right now having a big glass of water in my rolling stones cup because i went to um as i said vienna last weekend and the reason i went is because my friend and i we went to the rolling stones concert ever since we met in 2016 we said like it is our dream to go to a Rolling Stones concert together because we both just absolutely love them and finally it was time to go together. I've seen them once before in like 2017, it was in Amsterdam, but now we finally saw them together in Vienna and it was absolutely magical. It was for that 60 tour, which is crazy that they've been performing for 60 years already. And you got these cups whenever you bought some drinks. Very good actually, like you could still just hand them back in and you would get some money back but you can also just take them home as a little souvenir and now that means there were no plastic cups anywhere in the stadium so that concert was absolutely amazing i had standing tickets normally i don't really do much standing at these big concerts but i just danced so much and sang so much my throat is still kind of just like what did you do to me because we screamed <laughs> 
it was amazing and Natalie's mum also joined us so we just had a very amazing evening out. Um, I will insert a few clips of my trip to Austria. So I went to Vienna and we also went to a small town or well, I don't know how small it is, it's called Baden and there was this really cool outdoor like photo exhibition with lots of beautiful photos from all across the world, it was so interesting and I believe they were all made by like Scandinavian um, photographers and in Baden there was also the house of Beethoven where he lived, I believe it was Beethoven and then in Vienna it was Mozart Correct me if I'm wrong, but that was really cool. So we just had such a wonderful couple of days and I can't wait to go back. And these cups are nice because they're so big, like half a liter. So I'll be drinking lots of water today from these cups. And yeah, enjoy these few clips. again so I'm going to turn this off I'm going to deliver all the packages to the post office and then after that I'm going to start editing some videos I am just um, working on a thumbnail let's see for my vlog but I just saw that it is going to rain so I'm going to take advantage of that because I feel like it's going to cool down <laughs> so I've opened up my window with my curtains like that otherwise all these little flies will come in um, and I've opened my window in my bedroom, so I hope it's going to like air through a little bit because let's see how warm it is now, like outside. Yes, it's 24 degrees outside because inside it is insane. Look how warm it is inside, 28.5. So I need to get this heat out, fingers crossed. Ooh. It's dinner time and I'm re-watching Stranger Things. I'm already at season three. Oh my goodness, this rewatch is going very fast, but I forgot how amazing the show is. And I'm eating this salad that I just made. It's basically just some roasted vegetables like zucchini and courgette and um, mushrooms. And then I added it to a salad of just some like lettuce and tomato and cucumber. And I made a little balsamic dressing and some croutons, oh and some onion in there as well. Yes, I'm eating it from my mixing bowl where I marinated the vegetables in and since I don't have a dishwasher I might as well just eat it from the same bowl. <laughs> Otherwise I have to wash um, something else. So I'm going to eat this big salad because I just haven't eaten many vegetables in the past few weeks. Bon appétit! I will probably watch a few more episodes tonight. It is First day today, this morning, I went out with a friend, we had some coffee and I had some lovely carrot cake as well. We just had a little catch up because we hadn't really seen each other in a very long time. Then I basically organized all my stock, like my shop stock, as well as packing materials and just see what I still had. I totally forgot to film it, but it was a gigantic mess in my room. I basically just reorganize everything and it felt very good and I just got rid of like old things that I never use anymore so now I know exactly what I have and it feels very nice and organized and then I just did some more work packed some orders I also finished watching my rewatch of Stranger Things season one or like season one to three I forgot how freaking like sad that final episode was and just <gasps> and now I'm kind of re-watching season four even though I've seen it three weeks ago but Right now I'm actually setting up a live show for my Patreon. I will be doing like monthly live shows on my Patreon and I'll be doing some reading sprints as well. I read a bit more from We Did Round yesterday on my Kindle. I am currently 
1% further into the book, 63%. But because this book is so big, it just takes a long time to read 1%. So I'll be reading a little bit more um, in, what is it? 12 minutes when the live show starts. So yeah, I will keep you updated. Happy Friday! It's nearly the weekend. I'm very excited. So this morning I packed some orders. I also filmed a video, a kind of wrap up for April, May and June that I probably want to edit or like start editing today. And now I've decided to pick out a new audiobook because I haven't really listened to an audiobook or like a fiction audiobook in a long time. So I decided to go and see if I've got any books on my bookshelf that have been there for a very long time and that I'm honestly not really excited to be reading physically but I thought maybe if there's an audiobook of it I will just try out the audiobook so I found one namely The ID of You written by Robin Lee and I once saw this I think in a bookstore and I was like this kind of looks cool you know kind of 70s vibes with the colors and the font and the you know sunny sunglasses and Taylor Jenkins Reid said, this slayed me, incredible. <laughs> so I found it on audiobook. I'll tell you what it's about. So basically this is about Solene or Solene. I think Solene, she's a 39 and a single mum. And her daughter really wants to see this boy band with world famous sex symbol, Hayes Campbell. So they go to this boy band and then Solene actually meets Hayes, even though he's like 20 and they fall in love. <laughs> So it's a very interesting um, story. Imagine going to see One Direction with your mum and then your mum and Harry Styles fall in love. I'd be hella jealous. It says, can Solen allow herself to fall for the boy the whole world wants? Or will she have to make a devastating choice? <laughs> I'm very excited to be honest. I kind of forgot that I had this book. <laughs> but now that I've seen it, I'm going to listen to it. So we'll keep you updated. It is like, a 12 hour audiobook is quite long but I will probably just listen to it a bit faster so let's do this and right now I'm just going to clean up a little bit make myself some lunch I still have some leftover pizza from yesterday so I'm going to be warming that up in the microwave using that trick where if you put the pizza on a plate put it in a microwave together with a glass of water and then turn it on apparently the water will make sure that the pizza remains crispy so we'll see if that works <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit later. I did the dishes. I had some pizza. It was really good. It worked very well with the water. And I attached lots of tassels um, to bookmarks. Like nearly all of my bookmarks, they have like tassel options. So um, I just, you know, attached a lot of them to the bookmarks already because if I get an order and it's like, oh, I, um, it's an order of like a bookmark with a tassel. And if I don't have it then, it's always very annoying because I have to make it like on the go. So now I just do many in one go, like this. <laughs> so they're all very colorful. So I just made a few, or like a lot. And 
I listen to like 76 pages of the book already and it is definitely just a romance book like oh I know I shouldn't be doing this but I'm gonna do it anyways <laughs> it's very sexy um, but it's quite fun actually so I am definitely going to continue listening to this book I think right now I'm just going to finish my tea and then after that I'm going for a short walk to listen to some more of the audiobook so I'm excited that I'm listening to a fiction audiobook again because I haven't listened to a fiction audiobook in a couple of months actually I'll keep you updated I don't have any other plans for today I think I'm just going to continue editing um, some videos but nothing new I am however like planning on designing a lot of new sticker sheets for my shop because like autumn is coming and Halloween and of course like Christmas as well and I need to prepare myself so if you've got any ideas of like fun sticker sheets that you would like to see or any other products in my shop that you know maybe um, I just have never made before or just completely new products let me know in the comments if there's something specific you would like to see in my shop because I'm just thinking about what can I do for like Christmas or you know just the end of the year which is always my favorite time of year just when it gets a little bit more cold and autumn so when I'm going to be I, I don't know if I told you I always forget at the end of this week Tomorrow, actually, on Saturday, I'm going to my friend's house. I'll be staying there for like two and a half weeks because they're on holiday. And I always kind of cat sit their cat and house sit their house. Um, so I always have a lot of like new creative energy when I'm there because I'm just in a very different environment. And then I've got a lovely garden. So I plan on just trying to, you know, design a lot when I'm there. And of course, bring my iPad and just get the creative juices flowing. <laughs> So I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas. Okay, it's officially the weekend. I had a lovely walk. I listened to like 25% of the audiobook in total already. And it is most definitely inspired by One Direction because it's about a British boy band of five boys. Loving this though, very much enjoying it. I am also watching a new season of Virgin River. And if you've never seen that before, it's basically about this woman who I believe she lived in Los Angeles, but she decides to move to a cabin in the woods into this very tiny village where everyone knows each other and honestly don't tell me I'm the only one who every time I'm watching this is just like I now want to move out of the city go to a cabin in the woods and just live there live a very peaceful life with you know quiet and nature <laughs> I'm excited about this weekend though because I'll be spending two weeks at my friend's house and they have a lovely garden and it's super quiet there even though it's quite close to like Rotterdam it still feels very quiet so I'm excited to just be spending a little bit more time outside there and just be surrounded by a bit more nature because where I live there's not a lot <laughs> and there's lots of cars and it's a very city life and I'm always very conflicted like I don't really know what I want do I want to live in a very big city for a long time or do I just want to move to something much more quiet or you know that is difficult <laughs> but right now i'm still very very happy with where i live i'm um, in rotterdam and especially just my apartment it is like nearly perfect if i had a little balcony it would be perfect so yeah i'm just going to be binging virgin river i think <laughs> might make myself a gin tonic because it's the weekend so why not and i think i'm going to just have a very cozy evening i don't really have any plans for this weekend it's a little bit boring maybe but Oh well, the past three weeks, like two weeks, I had so many plans with just traveling and going to London, going to Austria, saw so many people, so it's actually quite nice to just have a weekend, I'm not going to be doing anything. Although on Sunday I'm going back to my parents' house, we're going to have a barbecue, so at least I will have something fun and social, but for the rest of the weekend I think I'm just going to relax.
It is a few days later, as you can see, I'm not in my own home because I'm cat sitting at my friend's house and you just saw the cat for a little bit, but nine out of 10 times, he's just outside wandering the neighborhood and then he comes in for food and he's like, pet me for a second and then he's gone again. <laughs> Um, but I'm just already having a lovely time here. It is currently Monday. I got here on Saturday and today I just worked in the Swan Market store in Rotterdam where I sell my products. But from tomorrow onwards, I don't really have to go home to my own place. Um, well, maybe on like Friday or Thursday. I'm going to go home on Friday or Thursday to pack orders. You know, the rest I can just stay here and do some work. I always find that I get like new inspiration whenever I'm somewhere else. So I really plan on trying to design lots of products for, you know, the next part of the year and for a big shop update, which I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, let me give you a little update on my reading because I am so far into that romance book that I'm listening to. I think I'm like nearly 70% of the way through and it is like, it's fun. It is definitely just very, romantic and like romance if i think of romance book books i think of this um it's just not really my cup of tea i'm just not the biggest romance reader because it's like only about their relationship so yeah you know it isn't a very deep story but it's definitely just fun but i will definitely finish the audiobook and i'm also like 75 percent of the way through we the drowned by carson jensen the like seafarer adventure novel. Also, I'm enjoying that one, but right now I think it will be like a three and a half out of five stars. I'm going to be making some dinner now. And after that, I think I'm just going to relax, take a lovely shower and just go to bed a bit early. Maybe watch some TV as well. They've got like a TV in their bedroom and I don't have a TV in my bedroom. So I never watch TV from bed, but sometimes it's quite nice to just, you know, just zap through TV channels. I don't know what's the English word. We call it Zeppen. Basically just going, you know, to the different TV channels to see what's on TV because I, I don't have, like I have a TV at home but I don't have TV channels. I just, you know, I have it for Netflix and DVDs, but I don't have channels. So sometimes it's fun to just watch TV channels. I feel like such an old person or like a very young person, like someone who doesn't have a TV because all they do is watch Netflix. This feels strange. Oh well, okay. I'm going to have a lovely cozy evening, maybe read some more and I'll keep you updated. Made some dinner. I've got some fruit juice and then just a salad with some chickpeas and avocado and just salad and some dressing. I roasted some chickpeas and then some like cucumber yogurt something. Let's see if this will keep me full and otherwise I'll just have some more um, something else later on in the evening, but yeah. I look very tired. That's because I'm a bit tired, but it's time to end this vlog to give you some final reading updates. I think this vlog really took me like two and a half weeks to film. I wasn't in the best filming mood. However, I have finished so many books. So first of all, well, so many, I guess two. First of all, I finished We Did Drowned by Carson Jensen. I've decided to give it four out of five stars after all, because in the end, it kind of all came together again. And it was very beautiful and emotional and definitely just a very good one. So even though some parts were quite slow, in the end, it was definitely a very well written book and I do very much recommend it. It was really good. Then I also finished um, The Idea of You, which I decided to give three out of five stars in the end. I still really enjoyed it, but as I said, romance books are just not really my cup of tea. So um, yeah, it was enjoyable, but not amazing. Then I'm also starting, or like I've started listening to a new audiobook, which is called Milk Fed, but I saw that it was on audio. So I thought I might as well just try to listen to it because it looked quite short. And this is quite a disturbing one. So first of all, I will give you a trigger warning because it's very, very much about eating disorders. So if you are struggling with eating disorders or like have struggled with eating disorders in the past, do not read this book. This is very much about this girl who is obsessed with counting calories, you know, to the point where it is really taking over her life. And then she meets this one person called Miriam um, who works in a yogurt shop and Miriam is basically trying to get her, Rachel, 
um, you know, to eat again and kind of live a more fulfilling life. But there will be like this tension between them, maybe romantic feelings as well. It's a very interesting story, but it's kind of a bit disturbing and like it's giving me the chills sometimes. But it's a, it, it, I don't know, it's a very unique one. I've never read anything like it before. So I'm listening to that one on audio. I think I've only got like two, maybe three hours left. So I'm already way over like half of the book and it is quite interesting. I don't really know what to think of it yet, but I keep seeing it around everywhere on TikTok mostly. <laughs> so yeah, those are the, well, that's the book that I'm currently reading as well as A Certain Hunger, but I'm reading that for my Patreon book club. So I'm not really talking about it too much on here, but that one is very good as well. So I really hope you like this vlog. By the way, I'm back home again, but tomorrow I actually have to go back to the cat for a few more days until they get back home from holiday because their kids, they already came back home for a few days and then they're leaving again so you know there's someone in the house right now so yeah i hope you like this vlog if you want to comment something but you don't know what to comment comment a cat emoji because i've been cat sitting so yeah comment a cat emoji thank you so much for watching i really hope you're having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next video